Hello everyone, today I have a very tiny Hayden Row haul to share with you. Um, I wasn't even going to record this, but I figured I'll just do it, throw it up, and maybe I'll actually have like a short video on my channel. <laughs> um, I really just needed to grab one thing from her Christmas in July restock, um, one of my favorite scents from any vendor. Um, so yeah, this is the business card that was in my order. Um, there's her email. Yeah, her email. Um, and then I also got this sticker. Sorry guys, my cat for some reason always wants to be involved when I record at this table. Um, Anyway, this is the sticker that I got. It says, you can do this. I always like the little inspirational stickers. And then just a little thank you card. So that's nice. Um, yeah, like I said, it's super small, but I'm gonna share anyway. I did receive three samples. So the first one I got is squeaky clean and this little green duck. I don't know. I think I may have had this in a sample before. Mm, it smells really nice. It smells like soap. I don't know what kind of soap. Ivory maybe. Oh, wow, it smells really good though. Mm, like it smells like this is a soap <laughs> um i don't know what kind it is i don't think it says maybe or dove i don't know it smells good so i'll use that in the bathroom um the next one i got is harry's sweater and i have had this before um, i've purchased this scent i love the scent i think i still have some in my collection Mm, it smells so good. This is like butter beer mixed with her shorts and sweater um, blend. So I think butter beer is like a butterscotch type scent. Yeah, it smells really good. I look forward to melting that one also. And then the last sample I got is Africa. And this yellow duck. I have had this in a sample before. Um, I forget what's in this. It does smell good though. It smells kind of fresh and earthy. A little incense-y. I don't know. I forget what's in this. I... I'm gonna need to melt this because it smells really good. I don't remember loving it the last time I had a sample, but I feel like I really like that on cold, so we'll have to see. Um, okay, so I'll just show you the thing that I went in for was a loaf in Elsa. I absolutely love this scent. This scent um, has a scent memory for me. It's it smells like my papal. <laughs> um, I know that sounds weird, but let me tell you what's in Elsa. So Elsa is warm vanilla, cool menthol, eucalyptus, and spearmint. So my papal always had the white Tic Tacs. He had like a dish of them by his bed. So his bedroom smelled like white Tic Tacs. <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm probably, you're probably like, what is this scent? What is she talking about? Mm, it smells so good though, but this is what the loaf looks like. Let me pull it out and see if there's like any kind of interesting, because it does look, well, yeah, I think they just didn't like get blended completely, but it's like blue and white. Um, yeah, I don't know. It 
it just smells like my papal. It smells like white Tic Tacs and like menthol. <laughs> I don't know. I love it so much though. This is one that I will always repurchase. It's a strong performer. Um, I had a souffle of it from I think like Christmas time last year or winter earlier this year. I don't remember, but as soon as I smell it, it smelled it, it smelled like my papa and I knew I had to have more. And as soon as I saw that she was offering it in her Christmas in July restock, I knew I needed a loaf and I will repurchase it probably every time she offers it because I never want to be without it. It's just such a good scent memory for me. Um, but aside from it smelling like my great grandpa, um, if you like minty scents, you should try Elsa because it is, it's, it's just a unique minty blend. Like I have smelled things similar to it, things that come close, but nothing exactly like that. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's unique to Hayden Row and it is one that I will forever repurchase. Love that scent so much. Okay. The next one I picked up. I just added literally two souffles <laughs> just to feel like I was getting more, you know, for my shipping costs. Um, but anyway, this is reindeer treats and reindeer treats is, oh, I had it pulled up and then I clicked off. Okay. Reindeer treats is a sweet bakery blend featuring soft pretzels dipped in vanilla cream and topped with caramelized sugar. And yeah, this to me just smells like a pretzel with like a caramel dipping sauce. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, you guys know I've mentioned a million times I don't do a lot of bakery. So sometimes it's hard for me to like differentiate the scent notes in bakery blends and they can all just start to smell the same but I do really like um, pretzel scents and I feel like the caramel isn't too much in here let me pop this out and see if there's anything going on with the souffle no it's just like a brown yeah that's really I just get pretzel with like a caramel dipping sauce yeah it smells good um this for me is probably more like a halloween fall uh type blend rather than christmas or winter but i mean obviously you could melt this all year round it's just you know pretzel and caramel but i'll probably pull this out in like September, October, maybe into November. Um, yeah, it's nothing I can melt now because it's a little too much for me during the warmer months. Um, okay, and then the last thing I got is tinsel. I had watched Jessica D's, um, what do they call them? The Ready Bits. I watched her Ready Bits haul for the Christmas in July restock and she loved the scent on cold and I was like, you know what, that does sound really nice. So I added this one. The notes are eucalyptus, mint, pear, sage, and it's a Bath and Body Works crisp morning air type. I think I have smelled that before at Bath and Body Works, but I've never purchased it. Um, so it's, it just sounded really good and I wanted to try it. I mean, crisp anything to me. I love eucalyptus. I love mint. I love sage. Oh, it's really pretty. Mm. Yeah, I do really like this. Um, pear, yeah, I mean, I'll, first I'll say it is not super minty like at all. 
I feel like it's like a tiny hint of like a fresh mint or a garden mint. The eucalyptus is not like super um, astringent or herbal. I like all eucalyptus. Um, this is like a softer, cleaner eucalyptus. And it's like a clean pear to me. Pear and apple scents can sometimes have a clean note to them, to me. Um, and this pear has that clean note, yeah. Not super herbally from the sage or anything. Let me pop this one out. Oh, that's really nice. It's a really pretty blue color. Yeah, I really like this. Mm, that's It's like a clean, fresh, but also... Like, it doesn't smell like a cleaning product. It's like a natural, clean, fresh scent to me. That's like slightly body care. But not really. Like, I could see it as a body care scent, but... It doesn't necessarily just smell like body care. Mm, that's really nice. I realize I've been talking about that for way too long, but I do really like that, so I'm glad I picked that up based on Jessica D's um, recommendation or review, I should say. Um, yeah, really like that. I look forward to melting that. This may be one that I repurchase. Um, I know, like, other vendors pour, like, the same type like the same Bath and Body Works type, but sometimes certain vendors just have like the one, they have like the oil. <laughs> um, so this is really nice. Whatever oil she uses, I really like this. Um, anyway, yeah, that's everything that I picked up. Uh, like I said, it was a very small haul that I wasn't even going to um, record, but I figured I'll just do it because I enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, if you watch this, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you picked up anything in this restock, let me know what you picked up and what you're loving. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.